YC was a rapper straight out of Southeast DC. I never knew what actually happened to him and the circumstances surrounding his murder, but recently I found out. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, B. Octavia, and I am back with another video. So, happy Sunday. I hope y'all are doing well. I'm doing just fine. I'm getting orders together for Crush On You Company. If you didn't know and you didn't see my Instagram or my posts on my community, I did open Crush On You Company. This is a very near and dear business to me. I've been working on it for months and go check out the website and see all that I have in stock currently. Today, I want to talk about a DC rapper that passed away in 2017 you know it's a pet peeve of mine when people say old news is old and but i don't think old news is less important than something that's trending currently you know so today i will be talking about yc yc was a rapper straight out of southeast dc his name started to ring bells in the dc music scene and this was about six or seven years ago in 2015 to 2016. He has a lot of bangers, but the most successful song YC has created to date is Gangster. So without further ado, let's get into the video. YC's come up was a really good look for DC, especially once he signed to Shy Glizzy's label and became a part of the Glizzy gang. All seemed to be going well until news started circulating that YC had got shot and killed in February of 2017. I never knew what actually happened to him and the circumstances surrounding his murder, but recently I found out. And that leads me to doing this video because I really thought all this time that, you know, some niggas spotted him somewhere and they was jealous of his talent and they took him out. That's what I was thinking this whole time, listening to his music over the years. But like I said, I recently found out. I recently found out the circumstances and I'm really, really disappointed and confused. I never asked around of what happened because I seen how the whole Southeast was in pain and grieving over this loss. Like... I don't even really think he knew how proud. It's like the light show and the Fat Trail, the Wale, like DC and Southeast in particular is very proud of those guys, you know? Is very proud because their talent makes us look good. For once, somebody makes us look good, you know? It was so early in his career that I don't even think he knew. I don't even think YC knew how important he was to his city. After he passed away, I definitely saw it. And I didn't want to ask around. I didn't want to be nosy. I feel like when somebody passes away, no matter the circumstance, like if you can search that shit up on the side, do that. But don't go asking around what happened because people ain't going to tell you. You know, they're not going to tell you. They're going to say it's none of your business if they even respond. Okay, so even though I'm late on covering this, like years late, I feel like it's still not a lot of people that's talking about the murder of YC. And it really didn't go as big as it should have. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of lessons in this. And also, I do have certain updates like what some of the young men were charged with and sentenced to and things like that. YC and quite a few of his friends got together in February of 2017 and plotted a robbery. They wanted to set it up as a buy for a large quantity of weed. So what do you do? You call the plug, somebody calls the plug, 
the plug comes and the transaction goes down. You supposed to have the money. You give them the money, you get your shit. That's how it's supposed to be. But they was planning to rob the plug. And this quantity of weed had like a street value of $1,000. Of course, you know it's a scheme and a scam with everything. So, what do you do? You break that down into small ass quantities, you sell it for higher, and you get more than a thousand dollars. I'm guessing all of the guys that were involved would be getting a cut of this, so it wouldn't be a thousand dollars per person, but still, they had about I want to say four to five of them, including YC. And all of the gentlemen split up. YC and his friends met up with the plug in a dead end alley. Now, that should be an indication, you know what I'm saying, that something bad is going to happen, you know, if I'm the plug, right? Or some people like, well, they want their privacy. Maybe this is ducked off where nobody can see, etc. So the transaction is going down. YC and his gang, let it be known that this is a robbery. We going to take that, right? And then the guns come out. Everything was going fine until YC's partners started firing and some of their bullets hit YC. Now, what YC and his partners didn't know was the plug came to the scenario with a gun of his own. So as soon as they started shooting, he started shooting. I suppose these bullets are ricocheting from place to place and just going fucking berserk, okay? Just think of the Wild Wild West and a showdown inside a car. So as YC is getting shot, the plug gets shot as well. The plug lets off some rounds and the plug escapes the scenario and goes to the hospital. He was able to flee and go to the hospital, but YC wasn't so lucky. He was pronounced deceased on the scene. They still, you know, rushed him to the hospital, but it was nothing that doctors could do. Some of his last words that he spoke before passing on was, For y'all shooting me, y'all shooting me. He was only 20 years old. The details behind YC's death was released a few months after this shooting took place. And three to four people were arrested in connection with his death. Some people believe that it was a intentional backdoor for YC's partners to end up shooting him when the robbery was robbing another guy. And my thing is, you can believe what you want, but I lay it out for you as somebody who lives in D.C. who comes from D.C. If you didn't know... Now you know, especially in Maryland and Virginia and places like it, they don't fucking play. Not only did some of the bullets hit YC, it's a reason why his friends was charged with murder. If you didn't know, in places like Maryland and Virginia, you know, PG County and all these places, if you are in commission of a crime and one of y'all die, the rest of y'all is getting charged with that. It don't matter if the bullets from your gun hit them or not. It could have been the, the plug that shot YC. And they still, they, the partners would have still got charged with it. Some people say that's not right. But you got to understand that you're in commission of a crime and it didn't go your way. And it's not going to go your way moving forward, you know? It's not going to go your way as far as you not getting any charges at all. It's not going to go your way as far as y'all getting off with this $1,000 prize. It's not that easy. All who were in agreement of committing this crime together will be charged together. As far as the backdoor situation goes, I really don't see it that way. I would hope it wasn't that way. And I don't think it was because of this. 
I don't know if y'all noticed, but DC doesn't have many open fields and it's not the country. You know what I'm saying? Where in the fuck are you going to learn to shoot? A lot of these guys, they don't shoot from being taught. They don't shoot from practice. They shoot from experience. They shoot from having to defend themselves time and time again. Maybe you get good at it and maybe you don't. And not being funny, these guys wasn't good at it, including YC. Anybody would know if you fire a gun inside a confined space, it can and it will travel. It can and it will ricochet. It can and it will hit every and anything. Anything in its path. Now, two of the guys... YC and another guy that was involved in this crime, they are from Southeast. No young men have training. If they ain't coming from the army, they ain't got no training in shooting. They haven't been practicing. And if you call it practicing, actually going out there and protecting yourself or defending yourself or shooting back or whatever, right? I guess. But real practice and real training go to the gun range and get good and know what to do and not to do because this could have been avoided all of the young men involved in this crime they was 20 years old all of them and what was really surprising to me was it's not one rapper involved in this it's two rappers involved in this it's yc who was blowing up at the time and a rapper named Simba from out of Maryland who was blowing up at the time as well. So when I really got the facts of this and come to find out they robbing and splitting a thousand dollars worth of merchandise. When I, I feel like YC's talent surpasses a thousand dollars. What is a thousand dollars compared to the money that you can get from your talent? A thousand dollars? That's not a like. That's not enough. That's not. That's not a move that I would want to go on because it's not valuable enough. You know what I'm saying? If some shit like this happened where somebody lose their life over a thousand dollars, when motherfuckers actually be losing their life too over twenty grand and however much, I'd rather go for the twenty grand and some bad shit happen than a thousand dollars. I'm just saying, I'm going for the big bucks. I'm going for the buku, okay? And the thing about it is, even if we wasn't talking about YC's murder and this murder didn't happen, he would have went to jail for quite a while for robbery. You gone. No music.